Hello, how are you? Yeah, hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Fantastic. And what's your name, by the way? My name is Prakash. Prakash, nice to meet you. And whereabouts are you from? Uh, nice to meet you first. Nice to meet you too. And I'm from India. India, wonderful. Whereabouts in India? Oh, Western part of India, Gujarat state. Gujarat, nice. And why are you on Cambly today? Because just I want to improve my English. That's why I want to get more experience to talk with native English speakers. Fantastic. But your English seems pretty good so far. Um, what is it that you feel okay. you need to improve? Uh, now, just I want to improve about IELTS uh, speaking test. Yep. So you want to do a speaking test right now? Yeah. Wonderful. All right, let's do it then. Um, so in terms of social media, what social media websites or applications do you use? Uh, I use Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, WhatsApp. Okay. So in terms of your answers, by the way, for IELTS, you must give uh, more detailed answers. Um, normally, I don't interrupt at the start <laughs> of asking questions, but the answer to the question is not as important as the information and the grammar you use. For example, if they say, what sort of applications do you use? Um, talk about habit. So typically I use Facebook and on average, I would say I use it like an hour or two every day. Excuse me, an hour or two every day. Um, and it's a great way to keep in touch with my friends. So the answer of Facebook is not as important as why you use it how you use it, who you use it with, or the reasons you use it. So let's try again with a few more reasons and your habit. Uh, what um, social media websites or applications do you normally use? Okay, so to keep in touch with my some friends because they are not living with me, they are living abroad. So social media is a nice, uh, nice platform for me to keep in touch with my old friends. So, so which one do you use? And, Maybe uh, answer it people, first. Yeah. Say, typically, I use Facebook. So answer the question first, then tell me why and what you use it for. So again, again. Okay. Uh, I use Facebook and WhatsApp. And this type of social media I use to keep in touch with my friends because they are living abroad. So it's a very uh, convenient and cheaper way to to be keep in touch with my old friends. With all of That's my friends. That's why I'm using it. Mm. Mm -hmm. All of my friends. Good. This is a much better answer. How much time do you spend on social media sites or applications? Okay, I'm a working person, so it's very hard, difficult to spend a lot of time with social media. But anyhow, while traveling or uh, before going to bed, just I use this social media to get updates, what my friend, friends are doing and what's going on around me also. Hmm. What kind of information about yourself have you put on social media? Okay, so whenever I do something or whenever I travel somewhere else, so I take some photographs, then whenever I get, I get some achievements, so this type of photographs I share on my social media account. Is there anything that you don't like about social media? Uh, yeah. Social media is open platform. Anybody can do anything there. That's why uh, sometimes some people uh, upload something useless things also and one thing it's an addiction actually I, 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 I one more important thing I want to tell you social media is an addiction if you want to spend 10 minutes but you spend one hour you don't know how you you finish one hour mm -hmm. so by the time you finished you've already spent one hour doing nothing yeah cool um, these are typically the part one questions you get, and you might only get about four questions. So each answer, you can s spend roughly 20, 30 seconds answering. Um, for part two, your question is to describe something you liked very much, which you bought for your home. 
It could be something like a sofa, a painting. Um, I recommend it to be something that is quite big or important that you use very, very often. Um, for me, I would perhaps use, let's say, my computer because I did buy it for my home. It's a desktop computer, not a laptop. I can't take it out of my house. Um, it could also be a light. And in, that sounds very basic, but a light because um, it affects my mood. I can adjust the brightness of it. I use it for reading, for lots of other purposes. You must choose something that you can speak at length about. So a painting is usually quite interesting. Remember in part two, it's more like a story. So you do need to use past tenses. Um, so start with why you needed to buy something. You're like, oh, I realized when I moved into my new house that there were very few places to relax. So I knew that I needed to buy something to relax on when I was reading or watching TV. So I thought, what's the best thing? I don't want to read in bed. So I decided to get a really comfortable sofa. Then explain yeah. where you buy it. Like, did you buy it online? Did you go to a store? How many, like, what was the decision-making process? Yeah. This has to be like quite detailed. So it could be the pre before you buy it, before you even decided where you went, who you spoke to about it. Maybe you were testing different ones. Then you went to another place. Maybe the one you first bought, you didn't like. So you returned it. Um, and then when you got it, what was the feeling when you had it? What do you use it for now? You've got so many different things you need to explain and you only have two minutes yeah. to explain it in. Um, do not speak for yeah. one minute. One minute is not enough. You must be yeah. speaking for two minutes. Okay. At the end of the two minutes, okay. the examiner or myself will stop you. This is good. This means you spoke for two minutes and you um, fulfilled the criteria of the question. So when you're ready, please describe something that you liked very much, yeah. which you bought for your home. Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I start? Yep. Three, two, one. Okay. So actually, I had a I made a mind not to buy television for my house because personally I thought that it's a time killer, and uh, my daughter and uh, my wife can uh, waste a lot of time watching some useless serials, TV serials. So. Before lockdown, I th I made a mind not to buy a television for my house. But during the lockdown, uh, we were using only our laptop and uh, mobile gadgets because we have Wi-Fi connection in my home. So, but it was difficult to watch uh, uh, by uh, learning or watching something on on our laptop or mobile screen because it's very smaller but one day just i went with my friend to buy his television and that uh, the owner of the, that shop explained everything about the smart tv mm -hmm. he was explaining about the 42 inch uh, smart television and the 50 inch television so when he was explaining indirectly he was convincing me to buy a television so without wasting a moment without asking anybody i booked my television and the very next day he fixed television in my house so because of it's a because of it's a uh, smart television it changed my whole perceptions about television big screen okay uh, i'm the person who wants to learn all the time before uh, that i told you i did not buy or i did not want to buy a television because i personally thought that it's a time killer machine but when I fixed the television and when I started watching all books or some educational programs on bigger screen, I thought that it's a not waste investment. Very good. All right. I, when I put my hand up, that was two minutes. Well done. The amount that you are speaking is perfect. The pace that you are speaking is perfect. Um, your grammar is almost perfect, almost. <laughs> Pronunciation-wise, I'm very happy. The only thing that I was a bit like, oh, was explaining. This is three syllables, explaining. Can you say that? Explaining. Oh. Yeah, yeah, can you say this word? Explaining. Yeah. Okay, I could not hear you, so could you please repeat oh. that one, okay? Sure. Can you say the word explaining? Okay. Word explaining. 
Yeah. Can you just say it? Yeah. So when you were saying it in your speech, I could only hear two syllables. It's like explain, explaining. Explaining. There we go. I had a mind to. I like this phrase. Be careful. Um, I had a mind to. You used it maybe two or three times. Once is enough. You need a variety. Um, your phrases are good. You've got a good use of phrasal verbs and phrases, etc. Very, very nice. Your vocabulary, there is a wide variety. Don't forget television. You can also say TV. Um, your introduction was perfect. You explained like why you needed something, why you didn't need something. Introduction was very, very nice. Past tenses were used correctly. Uh, the only grammatical error I really kind of uh, noticed was you said it's very smaller. Actually, we say it's much smaller. It's much smaller. And you said he uh, fixed the TV. To fix is to repair. I think you mean install. Okay. No, overall, part two, you are very, very good. I'm very happy with that one. Let's see how you do it. part three. Remember, part three is more of a discussion. So you do need to kind of give advantage, di advantages, disadvantages, opinion, what people think, um, two sides to a story, for example. So let's have a look. Um, in terms of something for your home, you talked about the TV. When creating a nice home, why do some people buy lots of things? 